guys, I'm Amalia Lee and I'm so optimistic to share to you our story today. We have a friend Kakumong here and we're gonna read the story of his friend. This is Bobo the monkey and his friend Giraffe. And this is Tall by Jess Alvaro. Who are they? I mentioned earlier this is the monkey and his friend Giraffe. Are you excited to read it? Let's read it. Where is he? Is he lost? We'll see. Bobo is in the jungle and he is walking and he found out about something. Small. Why do you think he thought about small? He found something. He found a rock and he had an idea. He went on the rock. Tall! Yay! I'm tall! His friend Chameleon came in and he was so happy to see his friend Bobo happy. And they are so happy. But Chameleon is happy to see his friends. But the monkey said, Uh oh. He found out that his friend Chameleon is taller than him. And he felt sad. But his friend Chameleon got an idea. Don't be worried. Get on my back. Yay! I'm tall! Yay! And they were so happy to see Bobo happy. Then they saw Lion, their friend, and said, Hi, Bobo. Hi, Chameleon. Why are you sad? Small, Bobo said. Don't worry, Bobo. You can get on my head. Yay! Tall! Tall! So everybody was happy. Afterwards, their friend Elephant came in. Hi friends, why you are so surprised? And then Bobo got sad again because he thought that he was so small. Of course the elephant was so tall, right? But the elephant got an idea. He took Bobo on his trunk and lifted him up. You are taller than me, Bobo. And Bobo was happy to hear that. Yay, I'm tall! And everybody was happy to see the Bobo happy, except for Lion. Because Lion saw something. What did he see? He saw this friend. Can you guess if what friend is he? He has four legs. Long four legs. Small, Bobo said, because that friend is giraffe. And giraffe is taller than everyone. I am, I am here to help you, Bobo. You will be taller than us. Yay! Come on, you can get up on my head. think happened. 
happen to Bobo? Do you think is he fell on the ground or not? We'll see. Hi, mommies, and welcome to our one, two, three tips for parents. Today, I'm gonna share to you how to make memory game after reading Tall by Jess Alvaro. These are the materials you need. A piece of paper, sticky notes, and of course, a marker. So, tip number one, write numbers or alphabets for your choices. And write the opposite words for that day. And tip number two, ask your child to choose for example, number one, and for example, he chose the word tall and ask him or her to find the opposite of tall. For example, he chose the number two, but it is not the opposite of tall, then mommy will gonna be the new guesser. And tip number three, of course, when he found out the right or the correct opposite word of tall then take turns until you finish this one the first player who gets all the opposite words win and have fun playing it together and that is for today bye